What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of Dave Steals the Show. You know, being a tech YouTuber, I'm often asked what I think about the prices of certain cell phones. And at first I would side with the person I was talking to and say, you know what, they're super expensive, overly expensive, it's ridiculous. And then I started thinking about it from a different perspective. I started to think about what goes into the manufacture and the marketing of a phone of a current modern day cell phone and I started to come to the conclusion that the prices of these phones are kind of our fault. So I started to kind of break it up by component. First is the build quality and the materials that they use to build the phone. Is it gonna be all glass, aluminum, steel, a combination of the two? How hard is it to make all those pieces come together? That plays a role in how much the phone is going to cost. The other thing is, People say, I want the best screen possible. An LCD screen used to suffice, but now we want OLED, P-OLED, Q-OLED. The best screen that I could possibly get is what I want on my cell phone. Then we want a camera, and we want the best camera. We want a camera that is DSLR quality. We want it to be able to zoom in, zoom out, not lose any resolution, not have vignetting on the sides, not have artifacts, not have noise in the picture. We want a crystal clear, perfect picture under any conditions all the time. And then we want the fastest processor, the fastest Snapdragon processor, which I think now is the 845, or the Bionic chip from Apple. We want the best the fastest. We don't want two gig of RAM anymore or three gig of RAM. We want six gig of RAM, eight gig of RAM. It's it's getting to the point where it's almost out of control. Then there's all the special features that go into the phone. AI, the Google Assistant, Siri, Bixby. We want it all and we ask for it. We demand it annually. Okay, this was great. It wasn't the technological advancements that I wanted in this period of time. So I'm hoping next year is going to be even better. I want better, a better camera. I want it all. And then the cell phone manufacturers deliver it to us and they tell us it's a thousand dollars. And our response is to gasp in disbelief and say, how could you possibly give me something that's a thousand dollars? And they stand there looking at you saying, that's what you wanted. No, I didn't want the thousand dollars. I wanted the best chip, the best camera, the best screen, the best UI, the best build quality, the most beautiful thing you could possibly give me. And I want it for next to nothing. And so there has to be some kind of give and take when it comes to technology. You have to be prepared to pay for what you're asking for. Because there are manufacturers like BlackBerry who are saying, hey, I can give you a Snapdragon 645 in a beautiful form factor in a phone that has four gig of RAM and the camera is not as great, but you know, it still takes beautiful pictures. And they say, we'll give it to you for $500 and we turn our noses up at it and we scoff at it. We say, what? A Snapdragon 645? I'm not getting that. That's not the fastest. That's not the best camera. That's not the best screen. It's still an LCD, what? And yet they're saying if you want a $500 phone, here's what you're gonna get. And if you want a $100 phone, <laughs> Here's what you're going to get. So you have to be prepared to say, hey, if this is everything you want, then this is what you're going to prepare to pay for. Remember what goes into these phones other than the cost of the materials. They also have to include 
the cost for research and development. They have whole groups and teams and departments coming up with how to fit the smallest camera in something like this, this type of form factor. How do I get a battery to fit in here that will give them 24 hours of use? Then there's engineering, and then there's manufacturing, and they have to staff manufacturing facilities to be able to produce it on time, because if there's a shortage on the day that it's released, we're upset about that too, right? I wanted it, I want it now, I want it today, I want it fast, I don't wanna wait three months, this is ridiculous. And so that goes, that plays into them staffing manufacturing facilities so that they can have enough phones for the day that it is released or it goes on sale. Then there's the marketing and the beautiful videos that have to entice you to pay a thousand dollars even though this is exactly what you wanted to have to entice you to pay a thousand dollars for this phone and they're gonna have absolutely over-the-top announcements in theaters where they're gonna fly people in, the media, the YouTubers, everybody's gonna come in and play a role in watching them roll out this new piece of technology that's going to knock your socks off. And they have to pay for all of that. Apple went as far as building its own stadium to be able to do these announcements, which is absolutely out of control. And then you have retail, and the retail stores have to get staffed with enough people to be able to sell you these products on the day that it's released. And they have to be knowledgeable, so they have to be trained, and they have to be able to talk to you, and they have the Genius Bar, and they have the tech support, and they have all of these support people that are going to help you with this new piece of technology that you asked for and you're in complete disbelief that you have to pay near a thousand dollars for this piece of technology. Well folks, I'm going to tell you, if we continue to ask for the fastest, the best, be prepared to pay more for the technology that you hold in your hand that you use as your daily driver. Because these components to source them and get them together, it costs money. There's also a profit that needs to get made because these organizations are not non-profit organizations. They're out to make money. Should they be making a million dollars on each phone? No. But with everything that has to get added to the price of the phone in order to deliver it to you, the consumer, there is going to be a cost to that. Next year, if you want the Snapdragon 875, 885, 900, if you want 10 gig of RAM, be prepared. That's it. That's all I had to say today. That's my two cents. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Dave Steals the Show. And I will see you all at the very next episode.